Well, Grant, was there an element of maybe on the beach about that performance this afternoon? No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. It'd be harsh for me to say that about the players. Um, and uh, very harsh for you to say that, to be honest. I'm the players aren't about that. Um, we're disappointed because we were poor today. There's, there's no two ways about it. We weren't good. Um, we created two good chances that possibly could have scored from and missed a penalty, but it wasn't enough to win the game today. It's, you know, that's four points Coventry have taken against us. And those four points could have put you within touching distance of the top six, and uh, that's why I'm more disappointed. Yeah, of course, you have the chance to go in front, Mikel Smith with the penalty. Um, decent save from the keeper, but you expect Craig, obviously, to stick it in from there. Yeah, listen, the penalty's a penalty. I'm not going to speak about that. He's missed the penalty, but it was the game. The game in itself, we didn't deserve anything. We weren't, we weren't good. Um, I thought we lacked energy. I thought we lacked tempo. Um, it looked like we'd, we were the team that played two games in four days. Um, it was just, it was just a lacklustre performance and uh, really, really frustrated. Yeah, can you put your finger on why you, you lack tempo? Because you talked about big pitch, you know, plenty of space to play, go and enjoy yourselves and a bit mm -hmm. expansive, but you haven't been able to do it today. Um, if I'd have known, would I won the game? No, I don't. Um, we, I mean, I thought there was just too many individuals, too many players off their game today. I, f I felt, you know, you can get away with it to one or two, but not when you have four or five off their game. Um, we didn't look like we were going to create anything. I thought we passed the ball really slowly, took too many touches. Um, and then when we got into the final third, our crossing wasn't good again. You know, we, we kept over hitting our crosses and um, it's just concentration levels around the final third that killed us. Mm. What you do have is players coming back from injury, like Sir Tafazoli back today. You've got a, a footy fit squad very nearly to, to choose from. So you've got options and changes that can be made, of course, if people are underperforming. Yeah, of course. Um, we've got four games left. We want to make sure we try and win the four. That's it. We wanted to win the five. We haven't today. Uh, we need to dust ourselves down and go again. That's that's the bottom line. It's um, it's frustrating. Uh, we'll pick ourselves up again Monday, Tuesday, and get the boys ready for the for the Easter weekend. So it's you know the Easter weekend can can anything can happen over that. You can you, know, you can pick up six points in that very very quickly, um, and that's what we'll be aiming to do. Mm, you've still got the chance, of course, to beat last year's points total and finish higher than last season as well. So there's incentives there, of course. Of course, we've got incentives all over the place. You know, within the players have got individual incentives they want to get to as well. Mm. Um, so there's, you know, it's it's a disappointing day for us, um, and we've got to move on very quickly. Mm. Mikael Smith, we mentioned the penalty, but presumably he'll want to have the next one if it comes his way, not the sort of hide and duck. The penalty's the penalty. You know, it's one of those things. The keeper's made a good save. Um, I think he's had it quite well well enough to, you know, for it to go in. But the keeper's obviously done his homework on Craig, and um, probably some Craig needs to look at if he if he takes another penalty. Um, but disappointed. Um, we need to make sure we uh, dust ourselves down now. I just felt as if today we we look really, really slow, lacklustre, um, and Coventry deserve to beat us. Mm. Chairman's in the country now, I think, so it's a big week coming up, isn't it, as you discuss going forward to next season, who, who you want to keep, I suppose, who you want to buy as well in the summer, lots to lots to discuss. He is, yeah. The chairman's here tomorrow, so we'll have a uh, meeting tomorrow before we go to the you know the PFA Awards. Um, but it's... Uh, there's going to be a big, you know, it's going to be a big chat to be fair. Because I, I said to you, you know, the last time I spoke to you, there's a lot of decisions to be made on a lot of the players. You know, it's um, we've got four games left. I think we're, uh, you know, I think it's eight or nine points off the top six. It's been, it's disappointing. You know, I wanted to try and get it, get this club into the top, you know, the top six in my first season. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, but all we can do is, is try and. Um, win the next four games and uh, build into next season. Mm. And you've said it before, haven't you? But the players are playing for their futures. If they want to prove that they're um, able to play for Posh and be a part of Posh next season, they need to be performing right to the last minute of the last game of the campaign. Well, I think today just summed us up, really. Um, I think the league tables just summed us up. You know, what is it? We've won 16, lost 16, drew 10. I think we, you know, we've, we've won two in a row a few times. We've won what, three in a row once. You know, we've just been so inconsistent. I don't know whether. Some of them get above their stations when we win a couple of games and think I'm a good player or whatever. Um, it's something that needs to be nipped in the bud for next season, definitely. You know, we we haven't sustained a, an unbeaten run as such, but we haven't really been on a, a run where we have in the previous season where we've lost five, six, seven in the bounce. So it's it's just been an inconsistent season, and we need to we need to get to the bottom of it and why it's happening.